in our previous lesson we understood the meaning of pollution pollution refers to undesirable changes in the environment due to uncontrolled introduction of toxic and hazardous substances in it the increasing rate of pollution is not only degrading the quality of environment but is also causing our mother earth to become filthy and unhygienic in today's lesson we shall try to identify the factors that cause pollution a major cause of pollution is industrialization Although industrialization invariably creates job and leads to improvement in living standards but it also creates pollution industrialization promotes widespread use of fossil fuels now burning of fossil fuels releases multiple toxic gases into the environment also industries use many harmful chemicals these chemicals are released into the environment untreated after use thus with industrialization pollution free environment is a myth and industrialization is a major cause of pollution now there has been massive growth in the number of industries due to overpopulation so let us now discuss the evil effects of overpopulation overpopulation not only puts pressure on scanty natural resources like soil air water etc but it also pollutes the environment overpopulation leads to increase in demand for food crops as a result chemical fertilizers have to be used to increase crop yield now using chemical fertilizers pollutes land and water nowadays there has been increased use of vehicles now vehicles releases toxic gases into the environment which again cause pollution this this is how overpopulation is a thereby cause pollution overpopulation leads to greater production and consumption of goods and thereby cause po pollution now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this question which of the following is not an impact of overpopulation is it increase in demand for natural resources production of waste and toxic substances formation of tides or overproduction of goods yes the correct answer is formation of tides formation of tides is not an impact of overpopulation while the rest are different impacts of overpopulation here we have logos of different brands adidas is a german brand amazon is an american brand coca cola is also an american brand and honda is a japanese brand I hope all of you are familiar with these brands. Now, these brands exist globally. That is people from all over the world can buy the products of these brands. So with the availability of these goods, information and technological knowledge all over the world, we can say that the countries of the world are interconnected. and there is a free flow of goods information and technology between different nations of the world now this growing interdependence among the countries of the world for the purpose of trade that is for economic cultural and technological purposes is known as globalization so globalization refers to interconnection or interdependence among different countries of the world for the purpose of trade flow of investment and also for technological understanding now there are different aspects of globalization that is setting up of industries in different countries 
that is the home countries of different brands set up their factories or industries in different countries and also with globalization we have trade among countries so the second aspect of globalization is trade of goods among countries and the third aspect of globalization is brand promotion that is to promote the brands the goods are packed they are packed or wrapped with plastic labelings to promote different brands so these are the different aspects of globalization so we understood the meaning of globalization and different aspects of globalization let us now understand how globalization causes pollution now i just mentioned that there are different aspects of globalization that is industrialization trade of goods among countries and brand promotion now these different aspects of globalization leads to pollution that is to say that developed countries often set up industries in less developing countries this is because less developing countries do not have stringent environmental laws that is they are more concerned with economic growth than protecting or restoring their environment so developed countries take the advantage of this situation and they set up multiple industries in developing nations as a result setting up of industries leads to pollution for example many developed countries dump bad goods like fuel in efficient vehicles in developing countries because developing countries do not have much strict environmental laws so this is how one way in which globalization leads to pollution now another way in which globalization leads to pollution is through trade of goods we know trade of goods takes place through transportation and land based transportation requires infrastructural development like setting up of bridges and roads now these infrastructural developments leads to loss of habitat and cause pollution also transportation through seas or ocean may cause accidental cases like oil spill or chemical leakages now oil spill and chemical leakages degrade the quality of water bodies and thereby cause pollution so this is another way in which globalization leads to pollution now i also mentioned that to promote different brands packaging of goods have to be done now goods are either stored in plastic bottles or they are wrapped with plastic labelings now eventually these plastics are discarded and they are dumped on land or water bodies thus over production of plastic waste and dumping these waste into land and water causes pollution so this is yet another way in which globalization cause pollution so here we can see that globalization is a significant factor that leads to pollution now as we just discuss these are the three important factors of pollution they are overpopulation industrialization and globalization now these three factors of pollution are interlinked that is overpopulation leads to increase in demand for agricultural and industrial goods so more number of industries have to be set up to meet the increasing demand for goods thus overpopulation leads to industrialization again enhanced industrialization leads to more production of goods these increased number of goods are then sold to different countries thus industrialization leads to globalization that is trade of goods among different nations of the world 
Thus here we can see that one factor leads to the other. In fact, different causes of pollution are interlinked. Now also we can see one thing that overpopulation is the root cause of everything. So if the problem of overpopulation can be tackled, then rest other problems will also be resolved soon. So in today's video, we discussed about the various causes of pollution. The main causes of pollution are overpopulation, industrialization and globalization. In our next video, we will discuss about various types of pollution. We will first start with air pollution. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now